Hey folks, I'm going to try to make something today that I've never had, and that's an Orange Julius. I know they were big back in the, I guess the 80s, 90s, in most malls around the country, and I've seen them, but I've never, never had one. <laughs> and uh, a band I listen to that I really like is is called Modest Mouse, and they they have an album called The Lonesome Crowded West, and there's this one song called Teeth Like God's Shoe Shine, and there's this line in it, and it's like, "Let's all have another Orange Julius, thick syrup, standing in line," and every time I hear that line, I'm like. I've never had an Orange Julius. So I've done some research and uh, now Orange Julius started as an orange juice stand back in uh, the late 20s by a Julius Freed. And he did really well, uh, but he didn't really make that much money. And he had a friend who was his, his real estate agent who suggested he you know he wanted to come up with a different idea because the acid from the orange juice upset his stomach so he came up with this idea of adding like the milk and the egg whites and everything to make it easier on his stomach and it gave it this like really creamy frothy texture that we know as orange julius now and uh it was bought in 1987 by dairy queen and you don't find Orange Julius's in malls if there are hardly any malls left, but you can find Orange Julius in some Dairy Queens around the country. And uh, here in Texas, there's a lot of Dairy Queens. None of them have an Orange Julius. So I have to figure out how to make it myself. Here's how I did it. And then come back for the taste test. I tried this with, uh, I tested this on, on my neighbors who are very familiar with Orange Julius. And they agreed this tastes really good. It reminded them of an Orange Julius that they probably had about 15 years ago. So here is how I made it. Okay, I've got half of this 12 ounce can of frozen orange juice concentrate. So that's six ounces of your favorite brand. I've got some powdered milk, some powdered sugar. There's a quarter cup of the powdered milk. I decided to do this because I wanted to create a paste or a, a syrup. And a quarter cup of the powdered sugar. And then here's a teaspoon of the powdered egg whites. This is important for the orange Julius to give it that frothy texture. And a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just going to give this a good stir. Like I said, I want to create a, uh, a thick syrup <laughs> that I can use uh, later. So I'm going to get this together and then once everything is combined, I want to refrigerate this. I am going to refrigerate this overnight and then pick this up tomorrow to make the Orange Julius's. Okay, that's been overnight. Now I'm going to add a cup of ice cubes. That's about eight ice cubes. Makes a cup. And then two cups of cold water. I just want to double check to make sure that this bottle contains two cups. Yep, it does. So that's going to take care of reconstituting the, the, the powdered milk as well. And then using an immersion blender. You could use a blender, but I just wanted to use my immersion blender. And you just want to give this a blend. And I should have anticipated I'm going to have to move to a larger container. I wasn't expecting uh, overflow. I thought this would fit. Anyway, bigger picture. Immersion blender. Let's give it a go. And I wanted to use the immersion blender because I want to take this to work and I want to be able to do this without having to deal with a blender or, you know, I want to have something mobile like this. Give it a good blend, get it nice and frothy and creamy. That's looking really good. Okay. Let's serve this up and then uh, give it a taste. Well, it's looking really good. But, 
How does it taste? Let's see. Ooh, that is thick. Okay, I guess I should have anticipated that overflow, but hey, it works. And here we have a homemade orange Julius, which I have never tasted. It certainly seems thick and frothy. That's everything I hear about what an orange Julius is supposed to be like. Let's give it a taste. That's really good. I was afraid it was going to be way too sweet, way too orangey with the that orange juice concentrate. But given the fact that two cups of water and then uh, a cup of ice, and I did that because of the powdered sugar, because I didn't use uh, powdered sugar, the powdered milk. I didn't use the cup of uh, milk. I used the powdered, and and that's what it said to. To, to add so it definitely tastes I taste you know the milk the cream uh, it tastes like a dream sickle and I can taste the uh, vanilla in there I think all in all this really does work good um, I got a feeling that I could make that that syrup uh, way ahead of time like th this was like overnight uh, but I think that I could add that um, four days maybe Add the ice and the, the water to it. Four days after I make that actual syrup, maybe I'll try freezing it. See if it'll last for that. But uh, I definitely like this. I think this is really good. Like I said, I've never had with, had one. I'm going to... Uh, I, I know some people that I work with have had it. So I'm going to make it for them and then see what they think. And then I'll uh, I'll update uh, the fi my findings in the comments below. So stay tuned. All in all, I think this is a success because I think it tastes good. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching.